anyone been on a cold streak uh, lately? You could be honest. Who, uh, whoever said, yeah, you're fucking awesome. Was that you over there? So how long has it been, the cold streak? It's more just like a series of bad days lately. So is the actual sex like there's been cold streak or no? It's a mix. Okay, so there's no cold streak. <laughs> What's the worst thing that's happened on a date recently? Um, I went on a date with a guy from Bushwick who didn't have a job listed, which I should have known that he was an aspiring comedian. And then he also ghosted me after I still gave him a chance. He also had a podcast studio in his apartment. I would also wouldn't date that guy. Okay. <laughs> we like to call our show the land of opportunity uh, because, uh, you know, the success that does come out of this are people that come to the show. They see this, then they go, you know what? Suddenly I'm just not afraid to go up to someone. Like, that was a fucking disaster. <laughs> But no, Harrison, did I miss anything here? No, I, uh, I love this crowd. Amazing crowd. I like that, and, man. And shout out to our YouTube audience. Clap it up for that. Yeah. Um, well, let's get, get this, this rolling. You guys ready to get this rolling? All right. Give it up for Michael. 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 Michael, I guess just we'll start out right here. What's your elevator pitch to the crowd? As you said before, my name is Michael, and I came here two years ago from uh, Israel. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty chill, and yeah, I think so. <laughs> Tell us about your dating life currently. It's kind of empty, I would say. Elaborate on that. Tell the crowd about that. Um, I haven't had a relationship in like a year, I think. And yeah, I've been trying to get like dates and stuff like that, but you know. It doesn't always work, and you have to manage it. When was the last time you hooked up with someone? Because uh, obviously, so you haven't had a serious relationship, you said, in a year. So then when, when was the last time you yeah, had, I guess, um, intercourse? You have to be specific. Hooking up or intercourse? Cause like, I, I guess penetration. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. If we speak speaking penetration, then, like... <laughs> Uh, f three years, yeah, three years. Dude, oh. give it all, yo. Why has it been three years, Michael? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Are you more interested in, in I guess, uh, uh, pe like penetration right now or a long, re or like a relationship? Um, I prefer relationships for sure. You're, so you're a hopeless romantic? I'm, um, yeah. Yeah, that's what my mom describes me, so, yeah. Aww. What would a girl get, at, get from you um, uh, every day coming home to you that they're not going to get from another guy? I'm kind of a gentleman. I always make sure, you know, I learned from my, my dad how to always be a gentleman. Um, I cook for you, you know, pasta and stuff. Yeah, for sure, always. I like to cook. And yeah, just trying to be um, a, great, a great lad, I guess. Michael, what's something um, that uh, the crowd would be surprised to find out about you? I, I used to be uh, a national champ back in the day, like 10 years ago, well, we, in some, some, some sport, yeah. And you were a national champ in some sport? Uh, <laughs> what, what, what sport was it, it like? It was um, sharpshooting. What was that? Sharpshooting. I, I, what is that? Like riflery or something. It's like riflery. It's like you shoot targets and stuff. Yeah. Huh. What kind of girl do you want to fall in love with? Like, what kind of girl are you looking for, if you want to describe her? I don't know. I just want a girl that, you know, we can have a fun. You know, we just can, you know, have a laugh and, like, you know, doesn't take yourself so seriously because I don't take myself seriously at all. So. And what gave you that attitude? <laughs> like, where did that come from? I think nobody takes me seriously, to be honest. <laughs> And you have a friend that we met before that really, uh, she's rooting for you. She's like, uh, she's like, he's got to fuck. Uh, I, don't I don't know. Where is, is your, she out there? Is she out there? You're right there. How, how badly do you want Michael to get laid? Tonight. <laughs> so I think now we have a mission. Uh, if we found a girl that was great tonight and she's like, oh, come home with me, Michael. Would you be down to, to penetrate tonight or... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, if I have enough alcohol in my blood, then yeah. We will but give you absinthe then. <laughs> do you, absinthe works completely fine. Do yeah. you think your performance would be good, or would it, would you be a little rusty? Uh, <laughs> you know what, Michael? No matter what, your performance will be better than mine. <laughs> what about a girl tonight would turn you on a lot and get you excited? Um, I think if she if she can make me laugh, and yeah, that's a huge turn on for me. I love it, man. But do you, uh, is there anything, is there a physical feature on a girl or no? Uh, I don't have any specific uh, physical, you know, focus, um, but <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I do have like my preferences, but yeah. Well, what are those what? preferences? Yeah, what are... <laughs> 
I like that he talked around that because it's probably something very specific. So what is that, Michael? What are those uh, preferences, man? I like, you know, more like European type looking women, I guess. Uh, brunettes, yeah. A oh, brunette, okay. What's the quality about yourself you love the most that you want to share with the crowd? And then what's one you don't like? What I don't like is um, I'm, I can be very weird, like way too much, <laughs> way too much. Wait, wait, what do you mean by weird? Tell, ex elaborate. Like, like what I like and like, you know, my, my hobbies can be weird and, 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 and like, you well, know. My, what are, what are what, some of these weird hobbies? Yeah, what are the hobbies, man? Uh, I really like dinosaurs. Like, I'm a huge freak of dinosaurs. What's your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex, of course. I love it, man. Well, we'll, I mean, Harrison. Clap it up for Michael. Give it up Clap for Michael. It. There's not much else to find out. I mean, Michael, you, it seems like you're a little shy with the ladies. What is it that you're afraid of? I would say rejection, yeah. I'm kind of terrified of rejection. Oh, Michael, I'm in, the, I'm in the same boat. Do you think tonight is going to be the night that something happens? Yeah, I think, yeah. Clap it up for this. Give it up. You're going to stand up, Michael. Someone just yelled, he's adorable. I love him, man. I feel like he, you could have been added into the movie super bad. Like, he would have... Thumbs up if you love Michael. Give it up for Michael's date, Moya. Make some noise. Show some love to Moya. Moya. Uh, we don't do age or profession um, on the show. So Moya, elevator pitch to the crowd. Uh, on elevator pitch, oh God. I'm Moya, I'm 25 from Long Island, New York. <laughs> I'm a very genuine person. I'm a very thoughtful person. Um, I love a good time. I love adventure, traveling, everything like that. I'm a huge animal person. What's your favorite dinosaur? My oh. dinosaur? <laughs> Shut the Triceratops. You stole my question, asshole. <laughs> Where are you from? North Africa. You're from oh, North Africa? Jesus. North Africa. My family's from West Africa. You're in North Africa? What part? I, I know West Africa, Mauritania. What are you talking about? Mom, I'm talking about All right. Ghana. All right, Ghana. there's no way I'm letting you fuck the girl tonight. <laughs> and Moya, do you like guys from North Africa or the Middle East, maybe, originally? <laughs> Any part of the world. Any part of the world. I don't know. I never had North Africa. Wait. That's, no one hears about. No one hears about North Africa. Of course, this fucker becomes the focus. You hear about West and South. I don't all know right. what that means. So, Moy, I have a question. Do you like dinosaurs? Because you said you love all animals. I love. I love. I lo yeah. I do love. I love everything. And you said, what did you say your favorite one was? My favorite what dinosaur? Yeah, type of dinosaur. Triceratops. Triceratops. Okay. Yeah. And how would you feel if you were with a guy and there was posters of dinosaurs in his room? And he was what? <laughs> um, I don't know. That'd be a little strange. But you'd be cool. It'd be cool. And then no, but it's unique. And you love all know. animal, but you love all animals because yeah, this I do. Yeah. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. He's great. So talk about the kind of guys you are, the kind of guy <laughs> you're looking for currently in your life. Oh my goodness me. Um, the guy I'm looking for <laughs> is somebody genuine, honest, and authentic. If you are not authentic and you're faking it, I will see through the bullshit. So, <laughs> with that yeah. being said... I think tonight we're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Have the guys you've been with not been authentic? Or what were They've your previous... They've been authentic and then there's just a whole bunch of bullshit, felonies, fucking all this other fucking shit. <laughs> mm, I'm not doing it. I'm what, not doing it. What kind of felonies? <laughs> What kind of felonies? Both of them were DUIs. <laughs> and one total of the car. So there you go. So total. So total. Now, so now you're just looking for an actual guy. There's no issue. There's just love. I mean, there can be issues, but it can't be a DUI. Okay. All right. Okay. Physically, what kind of guys are you most attracted to? Um, I mean, I think guys who care about their... I mean, their physique in a way, like their health. And they just look nice. You have a little meat on you. I like that. You like that, I right? can do that. Yo, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess in the bedroom with a guy, uh, what do you look for the most? Like, what, what things mm. do you excite you? I think foreplay is very important, as I think most women do in this, uh, this crowd, I would hope. <laughs> yeah, foreplay is important. People, I mean, men who, who care and they're... But they can get a little rough, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they can get a little... Mm. Yeah, wait, just as long as they're not a criminal. <laughs> <But> no, yeah. <laughs> 
What are you expecting this guy to be like tonight? I expect a guy who is, again, like I said, authentic, real. He's not capping for no fucking like social media bullshit. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> is there like a dream man you're picturing in your head physically? Yeah, that he it's on? like giving like Ryan Gosling, like Matthew Nazca, like, oh my God. And girls, girls know Matthew Nazca, but hope you guys know who Matthew Nazca is. I have fucking is. no idea who that is. You should know. He is. You should know. <laughs> I feel like oh I'm God. with that my. That sounded much more painful than what it, I thought I sounded like. No, you just sound like my neighbors. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. So, so Moya, when was the last time you uh, you have uh, a dated someone seriously and then b um, <laughs> uh, uh, penetrated <laughs> uh, or sex had my, sex with? My dear, what was the second question? Uh, when was the last time you had sex with someone? Oh, last time relationship. Okay, and then last sex time was sorry. like a month ago. My last relation was uh, April this year. And how long was it? Two and a half years. Damn. I, no, that's all right. I hope, special. I hope you weren't in the car when that, <laughs> when that, no, no, uh, when that happened. Were you with him that night or? Uh, was I with him when I when he when got I his, that? when he got his DUI? Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> um, I, yeah. <laughs> I am intrigued. Ha yeah. uh, make some noise for Moya. Give it up. Oh, cool. Thank you. Couple final questions, Moya. How would you feel about being with a guy that maybe, maybe it's been a bit since he he had you know penetrated? Oh, if it's okay. been okay, but like how long? Like we're talking like, like three a years? Like a month. Like a uh, month. Oh, okay. So you can, I mean, maybe like, you can hold your resistance, but like maybe not. Like what's your deal? I don't even know. Or where what's he is. a what's a red flag time period that if he hasn't hooked up in this long? Um. Oh. <laughs> I feel like it's very different for men as it is for women. We are wrong. Women speak for themselves. But I feel like five months for a guy is a long time. Maybe I'm wrong. Because I feel like men, they, they can't really control themselves much. Moya, times have, times have changed. <laughs> times have not changed. Uh, do you want a guy who's more on the reserve side? I like a guy who brings out the best in me. I'm reserved, so that the guy who brings out a little more. <laughs> You're reserved? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you like pro athletes who are, playing, <laughs> who are professional and maybe like a really obscure sport? Oh, no. <laughs> what I did an athlete? Um, uh, 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 no. You usually wouldn't date a pro athlete. It's tough. You it know, is I don't tough, know. man. It's, it's not an easy No, nah, those style. shooting ranges, man, it does get tough. Um, so, Harrison, let's All get right. this thing I love moving. Moya. Clap it up for Moya. Clap it up. Give it up for Michael. Woo! All right, Michael, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to start here. You're a great guy. Tell her what you want to know about her. Yeah, I'm six foot four. I mean, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm all that, yeah. Keep it moving, Michael. I want to know, what's the worst date you have ever had? <laughs> so... <laughs> it was in a prison. So, <laughs> I have never been on an actual date outside of my boyfriends. That's, that's great. That's a great answer. I just don't do it. Like, I don't... I just don't really date. That's kind of sad, maybe. <laughs> Are you open to it? Yeah, I'm open to it for the right person. Michael, what would you then, I guess, do to get that done there, man? So once I, I was on a date and everything was smooth, you know, she's she's perfect, she's from my hometown, you know. And then she has like, she tells me, oh, I gotta tell you something. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I deal with everything, I'm like, well, I don't mind. And then she says to me that she's a psychic and she talks to demons and angels and ghosts. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna get you laid, but but Moya, wouldn't you say he's pretty authentic? Listen, listen, I don't divulge from psychics and whatever, but that's fucking a lot to put off on the first date. Are you God, liking uh, his accent, Moya? Yeah. Am I his, his accent? Yeah, it's fine. It's, kinda, yeah. it's like it's giving. It's yeah. giving what it needs to give. So, it's good. So Michael, say something then now, kind of to get get Moya going, like get her. Uh, I guess like romantic, oh. like sexy. Yeah. Oh 
Let's start there, Michael. S- say something sexy and let's move it along here. <laughs> uh, something sexy? It's all up to you. Um, it's all up to you. Would you like to explore the uh, Mediterranean with me? <laughs> Wait, what, what did he... Michael, just repeat that. Moya didn't hear it. Would you like to explore what? Would you like to explore the Mediterranean with me? The Mediterranean Sea? That is a exactly, beautifully... Yeah. <laughs> that is a... Yeah, beautifully authentic. But, but, uh, but what that bitch you saying that to? It's just me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of okay. course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Michael, not, I don't want to interrupt that right there, but have you just one quick question. Have you ever had a, gotten a DUI? Oh, yes. Please answer that. Now. Wait, uh, I, I didn't understand the question. Have you... <laughs> have you gotten a DUI? Ah, DUI? Uh, no. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, keep that going there. You yeah, guys are getting into do. it. Mo- Moya, talk about what you want from Michael once you go to the Mediterranean. We need a lot of ex- adventure. I love to adventure. I love doing, like, hiking and kayaking and whitewater rafts. I love doing crazy shit. Yeah. I like a lot of adventure, crazy stuff. Seeing, seeing places no one's ever seen. Let's do it. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. You don't like that? No, I like it a lot. Do you yeah. really? Yeah, I mean, I, mean I-, I don't really do a lot of, like, you know, hiking and stuff, but okay. I, I, I did so it get, in the get your steps up. Okay, for you sure. Can do for, it. For sure. I for am you, so course. confused. <laughs> I mean, they are hitting it off. Right it here. seems like there actually is some sort of chemistry. Um, and, and Moya, what, what's uh, what are a couple turn turn ons physically that physically that you want a guy you know <laughs> to do? I mean, it's 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 giving my neck. Like my neck, like, you know, fucking choke me, kill me. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're not going to um, do that right here. <laughs> I mean, close enough. Just just don't push it too much. You want him to choke you? Yeah, of course. I mean, who doesn't? Like right now? Yeah, we could do it. I mean, just like, just a light touch. Just a light touch. Anyways. You, you could just touch your neck if you want, Michael. Ooh. Just don't choke. Just don't. You have to guide me. Don't, don't, I don't get that. He, you can just touch it. Just don't choke her. He's giving half. He's giving half neck. Oh, he's giving uh, juggler. I, I'm not a violent person. So. <laughs> do you like his hands, Moya? Like, do you like the yeah, way they his... Yeah, nice. Do you want it to... Grab his hands. Feel the strength of them. Where the fuck am I... Oh. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, yeah. He has nice hands. What's something gentle that you'd like right now, Moya? Yeah, yeah. Um, gentle. I mean, like, it's just like the side of my body. Like, I'm not trying to get, like... <laughs> Crazy in here. No, we're not. We're no, not. It's soft touch. Soft touch is is very um, considerate, I would think. Like, uh, do you want to like kind of like hug each other? Do like kind of just like maybe physically feel each other? We could. We could. Yeah, That's if she I wants. Guess. Yeah. Oh, he has very he has very nice arms. He does. Oh, I just stand up. I literally. Oh my god, he has the guy yeah. the head of his seat. How are you standing up right now? <laughs> Yo, this is... It's weird chemistry, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, Michael, there's definitely something happening here. So you have Moya right here. What do you want to do to maybe, uh, to close the deal here? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm done whenever she, she, she wants. Oh, he's like, he's not with her. Let's go. Where is she? So Moya, all right, so you're going to take full control right now. Right. Do whatever you want to Michael. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Whatever you want. Very cute together. I'm not gonna... they are. Michael, you're you're really smiling over there. What are you thinking? <laughs> Michael, you, you look gleeful. What are you What are you thinking right now? What's going through your head, brother? I mean, um, yeah, that was. Um... <laughs> you are a great kisser. Yeah, yeah. What right now would be the next step for you? I want to find out like what what makes you happy, basically. <gasps> oh, well, apparently it's being choked. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're gonna be like, oh my god, a basic girl. But um, 
I really love animals, Ooh. so I think. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> do, do you prefer dogs or cats? Uh, you're gonna maybe you might not like my answer, but I love cats. But I love dogs. Yeah. I love both. Wait, you love a, cats? I have. I, I have a few cats. Mike, do you, what do you like? What I, do you like? I have two cats back home. <laughs> I love anything with animals. If you take me out to a fucking farm on the first date, oh my God, just propose. Propose right away. Michael, <laughs> would you take her to a farm for the first date? Yeah, for sure. Oh my God, I and love which, it. And which farm, do you have any off the top of your head? I don't know. I don't know farms around here, so. No, it's fine. As long as it smells like shit and cow dung, we're good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was aiming I for, I love you know? that. It smells like piss everywhere, you know? Like, you know? <laughs> That's why I like to hang, you know, it's like everything smells like shit, yeah. Wow, who would have uh, thought? <laughs> Moya, do you have any questions for this wonderful man? What do you like to do in your free time? Like, like what, what drives you? You know, what's your, exactly, what I said before, what drives your soul? Um, I guess just trying to be the best of everything I do. That's like <laughs> my, my goal in life and like, of course, being happy and yeah. Just, do you have you know. any kids? If I have any kids or if I want kids? No, do you have any kids? I, no I, I don't have any, any kids. Do you have like an ex-wife? No, no. Needed to be aware of my threats beforehand. Yeah, yeah, of course. Always be prepared. I mean, yeah. Uh, Does he give off dad vibes? Like No, he seems so caring. That's the thing. He seems so caring and beautifully genuine. I just want to know. He has a good heart, I think. He has a really great heart. And that's not even the point that like, oh, does he have kids? Like, it's... He has such a great heart and a great personality, and he's so transparent that I think that that would reflect great onto children. So I'm. Whoa! Like, <laughs> Yo, you want his kids? What? <laughs> wow. Do you? So you really love him, man? Listen, I'm 25, almost 26. You got to start considering. Michael, you're you're like the same age, right? I'm 25. Yeah. Yeah, they're the yeah, same fucking age. He's right age. there. Do you want kids now? Uh. Oh, okay. So how long? <laughs> How long? Oh, wow. Um, five years, maybe? Oh, okay, he, he hit the mark. Harrison, we have not had a show where it got to, like, kid. those questions don't come up on this. Like, <laughs> yo, usually Thank it's God. like, if you done anal, like, it's... In the last show, it was, like, spitting in the mouth the whole show. Before the blindfolds even come off, thumb up if you're really vibing, thumb down if you're not. I think I'm vibing. Someone just gasped while I'm like getting a vibe. So Harrison, we're, this is about to be very, very I'm, uh, intense. I'm a little nervous. All right, guys. All right. The blindfolds are gonna come off in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Oh, hello. I did not expect that accent from your face. <laughs> not in a bad way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my Makes goodness. Sense. Yeah. I don't have an accent, do I? Um, Long Island, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't expect uh, anything. I don't know. Oh. Do you like so what you're pure. seeing? Michael, do you like what you're seeing right now? Yeah, for sure. Wait, yeah. Moya, yeah. what face were you expecting? Uh, like, do you want to describe what you were envisioning just now before you saw him? No. <laughs> he uh, has a really unique accent, and it's, it's hard to put a face to it. I don't think yeah. I really was thinking about the face. Yeah. I was listening to his voice. And he seems so sweet and so genuine. Like, he seems very slick at him. <laughs> he looks so sweet. Um, do you think he'd be able to, to actually do the choking part in the bedroom? Like, do you, from, I think he can. I, <laughs> I think. He, he seems very, very straightforward and transparent. Uh, did you want to do one more l little kiss here? I forgot we did that. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I swear, it. I swear. Yeah, um, yeah. We could. So if, it's, if you want, Are if you Mike. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Look at your beautiful brown eyes. Your eyes are beautiful too. Ma Michael like makes me want to cry. Yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael. 
Michael. Um, I love that guy. I think he brought something really different to updating tonight. I think he brought a vulnerability that I've wanted to see. We casted Michael. Um, we were positive that he was going to bring, because we really are looking for people that are themselves unintentionally. Just be who you are truthfully, and it will work on the show. The crowd will embrace you. I don't know if they're going to date Moya and Michael, but... I want them to have a session. I I really hope he does it. I felt like it was like a comedy like that I've watched when I was younger, where like Michael was the character and this girl's like, I'm gonna teach you. I don't know if I was thinking of super bad, but I really hope it happens. Tonight the plan was this guy's been on a cold streak for three years, a little shy, coming out of the shell. That's why he caught up dating. We were very excited to have this guy Michael on the show. And the second we met Moya, she had this eccentric energy up there that was really interesting and that mixed with Michael's shyness was fascinating. I thought they would get along. I didn't know they would get along that well. Shows like tonight, there, there's something so Shakespearean about it. There's something so heroic. It, it's a heroic. It was it's heroic. It, it felt like uh, one of those ancient tales of medieval times, like the night, you know, he well, comes back and he like, yeah. This is <laughs> the story of Rocky Balboa tonight. I actually, I feel like that is a good analogy, but unfortunately we won't be able to watch the final match. They will have that to themselves. Also guys, we are touring everywhere. Our tickets are at updatingshow.com. Join the madness, you guys will see this live. We're coming to a city near you. And look, if you if you like the show, you've been watching, you're like, oh, I would be good on the show. Just apply, just reach out. You'll chat with us directly. So don't be shy. Posted videos every week now, a lot more coming. Hit that subscribe button. We love you, thank you.